Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I just wanna show you a really cool feature that you can have with the OpenSpot 2. As you probably know, the OpenSpot 2 is a digital internet gateway. So it allows us to connect to amateur radio reflectors and then use our radios locally to talk through the hotspot. Now there's a few different types of digital modes. The most common are DMR, C4FM and D-Star. Now if you own a DMR radio and you want to connect to a YSF reflector which is actually Fusion or C4FM then that is possible. All you need to do is connect to the YSF reflector that you want to listen to or talk through and then you need to change the mode of the modem on the OpenSpot 2 to DMR. Now currently I'm connected to the GB7CP repeater link YSF reflector and as you can see here my modem mode is in C4FM. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen I have two radios. The one on the right hand side is a FT70D which is a C4FM fusion radio and the one on the left is actually a Retivis RT83 DMR radio. So you can see that the one on the right is active at the moment but I'm going to switch the modem to DMR. And to do this, we select where it says modem mode, change to DMR, and click save. And as you can see now, we're still connected to the GB7CP YSF reflector. But because the open spot 2 has been put into DMR mode, we can actually talk through that YSF reflector using my DMR handheld. Now what about if you have a fusion radio but you want to connect to a DMR reflector? Well that's simple, you just reverse this process. You go ahead and connect the open spot 2 to your desired DMR reflector and then where it says mode and mode, you change that to C4FM. Now you will also notice some other modes there such as NXDN, P25 and D-Star. Not all of those modes are cross-mode compatible. It is mainly DMR and C4FM for the time being. Maybe in a future firmware update, Shark RF may provide that cross-mode features to other digital types. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll leave a link down in the description where you guys can go ahead and purchase uh, an OpenSpot 2. And also, if you wanna have a look at my overview and quick setup video, I'll also leave a link in the description as well for that. Until the next video, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.